Back in the end of November, we had the Dunfermline lights switch on, that, that, uh, the, the Christmas lights switched on to big razzmatazz. And, um, and, we, and I managed to actually speak to three people that were involved in, in the Christmas light switch on. Very well-known figures, particularly in the, in the radio industry. Try Dingo, Donny Hughes and Ray Dallas. See, they are famous after all. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Matthew, how are you, buddy? Matthew Hansen, mm, Bob, to you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> See you out here, mate. Hi, uh, how's you going? How's it going? Very good, man. Apart from the weather, but brilliant atmosphere. Done filming live, mate. Can't miss it every year. Fantastic. Santa comes along, and we have the massive street parade, the Christmas lights, little young Andrew Johnson. Six-year-old Andrew Johnson, fantastic turning the lights on for us here tonight. Excellent, and the atmosphere has been absolutely eclectic. I mean, it's an absolutely true example of what a family day out is, particularly when it comes to this time of the year. Oh, it's Christmas time, mate. Everyone's got the festive... Is it the festive spirits in them or the festive spirits about them? Well, I could do with the festive spirits in me just to just to get a bit of heat, a heat, heat back in my feet. It's been it's been a great couple of days here, but uh, it has been very very cold. But uh, as, as strong turnout for the community, it, it, it really is. And as Dingo said, it's been uh, been, been pretty pretty good uh, response today. Uh, I think that it's been a fantastic family day out. Um, loads for all the family to do. That's the key to it, isn't it? I mean, Christmas is is family time, so you want to spend it with the uh, the kids and and and, and make them make them happy santa's been doing a road tree as well i noticed yeah. he was uh, he, he he was obviously here to uh, to to you know sort of um, tight for a bit of business today but i think he's done well <laughs> he's had a good appearance hasn't he good old santa uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's got to do the odd appearance now and then uh, he does indeed he's got a long way to travel you know, know. he's got a lot of things to do get up to it i mean this is his time of year oh yes can, i heard he's pretty expensive as well <laughs> yeah. he, he's quite expensive can i just say i did notice that he didn't go home for his lunch so, so I mean, if you think about it, he's got all the way to Greenland to go. So, so to Iceland, to Iceland, <laughs> Lapland, even Lapland, Lapland. Yeah, we knew between the three of us, we got it right. Yeah, <laughs> Iceland's on the way, he's right? Somewhere, he's North somewhere Pole, way Iceland. North of here. <laughs> Santa brings presents, doesn't he? Isn't that what he's, what he's here for? It is great to see Santa. Of course, up the road, I was on the high street stage, and the kids were absolutely fantastic up there. Great atmosphere up there on the high street stage today as well. And I was quite shocked when one of the kids asked Santa for a mobile by a phone who was only four and I bet he wanted an Apple iPhone as well yeah. oh <laughs> never he wants an iPad it's yeah. an iPad not an iPhone that's the that's the new big thing yeah, Christmas is getting expensive man oh, it is even these times of recession it's getting exp expensive but surely what we hear today is to just celebrate the spirit of Christmas and that is absolutely priceless wouldn't you agree guys no. absolutely mate yeah totally agree how many would you say roughly that came here? I know we don't have exact figures at the moment, but... Uh, Half a million, Dave. <laughs> at least. At least. I was going to go for the full million, yeah, the full but I wasn't yeah, including just, the other side short. of Pitt and Creek Park. It was just short of a, a million. I think, I think Ray, had, Ray had about 250,000 up in the, you know, in the high street. It is such a good community feel. I reckon most people from Dunfermline, I would say it was pushing 1,000 people. Watching the whole parade? Oh, more than that. Just down the high street? Yeah. Oh, I definitely no, uh, I had, had about 10, a thousand 000. up there. It's been quite busy today. Just, just a thousand, up, 15 million. <laughs> A hundred, a hundred million, billion. It's, it's a billion. It's the population of China here, actually. <laughs> in terms of numbers wise, we had lots of people here. It was, Realistically, it was great. we're putting ten thousand people on it. Yeah. yeah, I know there's so many people here that we could have got done for overcrowding. Oh yeah, we yes. could have, but there were no barriers. So guys, uh, apart from the uh, light switch on, uh, you're very active in the radio industry. Uh, Dingo, you're still very active on the flagship breakfast show on Fourth One. How's that going, man? It's going very well. I don't know why I'm there or what I'm doing there, but I, Sounds like it too. I, I'm just uh, I'm just growing a moustache like everyone else is trying to. Just got caught up in the whirlwind then. I did indeed, mate. Now I'm having a fantastic time. Uh, love it. Love all the all the fans and all the support. Love radio and like working with guys like Donny and. Great. Right. <laughs> we got there eventually. That's show business. <laughs> yeah, that's show business. Man, it's great. Having a great time. Thank you. Brilliant. Uh, Donny, uh, so you've been very active in radio, but uh, outside of the UK, haven't you? 
yes, I have been uh, working. The last couple of years, I've been working out in Malta. I was running a radio station out there called XFM, uh, which was it was great. It was it was like going to work every day on your holidays uh, for for two days with the sunshine and whatever. So, tan though, so, Donnie. Well, the tan, it, well, I did have a tan until I came back in May, but uh, it, you know, it, but, but now I'm actually blue with the cold. I've actually changed colour from sort of brownie sort of colour to now actually blue. Uh, but no, it, it was good. It was good to do. But uh, back in the UK now, back home and. Uh, really just enjoying life you know back in Scotland oh, fantastic uh, I, I have to say this would be make a real change here I'm still trying to get warm up here serves me right for just coming in with a t-shirt just barging in my way in I couldn't, be- <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't believe you turned out the, the, the Dingo Dave's here with, with his kind of thermal James, suit on a Ray, jumper a jacket another just, jumper just, every, just everything he's got layers Ray has got the, uh, the, the the survival suit that you get when you fall into the North Sea and, <laughs> and, 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 I, and I've actually got it's great radio is great you can just paint pictures and I've actually got on sort of 10 layers of clothes and I'm blooming freezing Johnny, that's not and clothing and mate we all know I know it's a bit of padding I've got a bit of extra padding it's fair to say but 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 Matthew turned up here and I couldn't believe it he's got his his, uh, his radio, his radio West 5 t-shirt on and, and, and with his no name on it which I was impressed with but I think guy you're going too far get some clothes on yes I can't believe that you've came out like that I don't know I, I don't know how I, d- I did that myself I'm, I'm just so crazy maybe that's why they called me mad Matthew that's why you're called handsome <laughs> yes I know uh, so, guys, uh, just one, one quick final word. Uh, any chance of coming back to it in 2011? Absolutely, mate. Can't wait to do it all again. See everyone. Uh, Merry Christmas. Have a happy new year. And I'll see you in 2011. As a good friend of mine, Arnold, once said, I'll be back. I want your boots, your jacket and your motorcycle. And that's not mine. So there we go. Thank you very much, guys. You're still naked. <laughs> that was a Matthew. It's not a good look, man. I never knew you were that small. Steady on, guys. Don't tell the truth to the listeners. Come on. <laughs> guys, thank you very much for uh, uh, coming on Radio West 5 for uh, Christmas Eve. And hopefully we should ca- catch up at some point. Merry Christmas. No worries, Matt. Take care, mate. Thank you. And let's just get one thing clear. I wasn't naked that that day. Yes, you was. I was with him. Oh, no, I wasn't. Oh, yes, you were. Oh, no, I wasn't. Oh, yes, you were. Oh, speaking of pantomimes, we're going to be... (laughs) Yeah, this show's one big pantomime. (laughs) It's fun, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's fun, yeah, it's fun.